my Insta story game was sad. I knew it was sad, you knew it was sad, so I did a ton of research to find out new apps and techniques to make it awesome. I upped my game and I'm sharing it with you right now. How did I make those? Let's get my phone screen up there and show you how it's done. First off, these are the apps that I'll be using. I will link everything down in the description, but I just wanna quickly run through them. This first one is eight millimeter, lets you shoot video that looks like eight millimeter film. Snow has some crazy cool templates. InShot has borders for both videos, photos, and they also have some really crazy cool templates. Unfold, super cool, minimalistic, sleek templates. Canva and SparkPost, those both create infographics. I'm not really gonna touch on those too much today, but I will do a video on that for you soon. Hype Type. Hype Type adds motion to your text. Very cool, let's get into it. All right, the first one I built in Insta Story, so let's head over there. I wanted to show you something that you can do just basic. So go ahead and take a picture of whatever. There we go. Now go up here to the little pen, hit white. I'm gonna make a white background. So hit the color white, and then just hold your finger anywhere on the screen. Boom, white background. Pretty cool, that's an easy trick to do. Now I'm gonna go up to text, type hashtag she raves, but I put a space in between it, so I formatted it a little bit. And we're gonna turn that black, color black. And now I'm gonna copy and paste this four other times. I'm gonna skip forward so you guys don't need to see this part. All right, we got this on here five times. So I'm just gonna put these down here, make sure it's on the center line. Great, I'm gonna make this middle one a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Make sure it's on the middle line and then just move these down so it all looks pretty formatted. Space this one out a little more. Then I go up here to GIFs. There we go. I'm gonna type in camera. So I'm just gonna use this one today since the other one was gone. It doesn't look quite as cool, but you get the idea. This driving shot was the next card and I wanna show you how I created that cool frame. So we're gonna use InShot. Let's go ahead and go in there. Go to Video, New, and we're gonna go find that original video, which I believe is right here. So there's our video. So we're gonna go ahead, you can see it already kinda of created a blurry border around it, but we're gonna tweak it a little bit. So first, let's go into Canvas. You're gonna to wanna to hit nine by 16 because that's portrait mode. And now let's shrink it down to size within there so that we can choose our border. That's great. Next, I wanna trim the video because it's long right now. So let's trim it and I think I stopped it right about, right about there. There we go. Let's go into filters. I like this Cinema 3 filter, so let's add that on there. All right, it's looking good. I'm gonna see and show you how you can change the background. So watch the border around it. You can get blurrier, less blurry. You know, you change all that there. I think I like that one. Or you can change it to a color. So you can really make it however you want to. I'm gonna choose the blurry one. There we go. And let's play it through. And there you go. All right, let's head into Unfold. And I probably could have created this one in InShot as well, but I wanted to give you an example of Unfold and kind of show you how it works. So you go ahead and you click the Add button. We're gonna start a new project. There we go. Click Create. Awesome. Once you hit this plus sign, look at all these templates that you can choose from. There's a bunch of them all down on the bottom here. There's a whole nother crew there. You can see some of them have circles and writing. I mean, it's, it's really cool. And we'll use this a little later on in this episode too. So, um, but first, the first one that I chose was this template here. This one normally has a border. I actually changed everything to white. I just wanted to have the video small in the center. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add that video here. It's right there. And what you do is you double click on it to see that black border popped up, then that's how you shrink it. So I shrunk it so it's in the middle there. That looks good, double click again, whoops. There you go, and it's in there. Now we're gonna change that background to white. So click on that background, and I have a white one right there, and there we go. So go ahead and save that. Save that page. That's a good note. You can also save stories there. So if you made a whole story, you could just keep adding pages and then save the whole thing and then just post that to Instagram. All right, great, it's saved. So now what I did is I actually finished it in Instagram. So we're gonna go back to that app. There we go. Let's grab our, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna go to the pen tool first. And this highlighter right here, the second one in, that kind of makes an opaque looking mark, which kind of looks like tape. So I put that, I think I made that really thin, and I put that over both sides, but in black. So it looks like it was taped on there. Oops. Perfect, there we go. All right, now we add the text. So I'm actually gonna write again, and for this I use a stylus. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture of the stylus that I use. This is, I just got it on Amazon, super easy. Um, but that's what I used to write with. Let's write the word new. Great. And then episodes. And go ahead and turn that black. Great, and then we just need to add the she, hashtag she raves in the bottom. There we go. For this next card, we're gonna use snow. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on snow. Hello! And then see that happy face in the bottom? Click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and find the filter that I used, which was like three photos on top of each other. I know it's here somewhere, there it is. So click on that. So we're in the filter and I actually took this picture live. So I'm gonna do that right now. So you wanna look up to your right. Where's my thing? Look up to your right. A Little bit of a weird face, but that's okay, we'll use it. So save that. Great, and then we're gonna go back into Instagram and add the text. Here we go. We have that one saved. And I just wrote, Tuesdays, great, done. Let's put that over here. And then I just did a little doodling on top of this. I just framed the pictures. So let's go ahead and add that. And down here, there we go, done. So this last one, we're gonna go back to InShot and this is actually gonna be a combo of two of the apps. So we're in InShot. Great, let's choose a video and it's gonna be this Instax one. Great, and canvas, that's my forehead looks a little crazy there. Let's crop that out immediately. Um, and let's hit the nine by 16. Great, check, done. Put a filter on that and I wanted to do a black and white one on this one. So I chose memo, great. And then there's one more thing I wanted to add. And we're gonna go to filter again, and let's see if this works. So go ahead and go into effect, and then we're gonna click noise. And you see how it adds that, just kind of that VCR look? So there we go, great. Let's go ahead and save that. Saved, awesome. Now we're gonna go into unfold again. Oh, still has our last project up. Let's open a new one. And the template we're gonna choose this time is in CS2, and it's this one. Great. This video is gonna be the Instax video. Boom. This video is going to be the one of me in the car. Please ignore those funny faces that was sent to my friend. I think it's this one. 
Let's watch it. Perfect. Swipe up. There you go to get out of that. Great. So let's save that. Okay, then we're going to go into Instagram. There we go. We have it. We're going to add our text, which was so wipe. And then we wrote the word up. Oh, let's change that to black. There we go. So wipe that right there. And then use our stylus again. Let's make this the thinnest it can be. Make sure it's black. And then just write the word up. There we go. And then let's add our GIF at the very bottom. I think I typed in arrow. Okay, let's choose this one. That one's kind of cool. And then you can actually rotate it. There you go, by putting your two fingers on the screen and then just rotating it, two thumbs at the same time. And you're done. The sky is the limit with these apps. I just touched on a few of the basic features, but I cannot wait to see what you ravers do with it. Once again, I've linked all of the apps mentioned down in the description below. Go ahead and leave a comment and a like and hit that subscribe button if you wanna join the raver community. We're pretty cool, gotta say. Thank you ravers, stay creative, and I will see you Tuesday.